let's look at the lineup real quick. Leon Dilla is a raw player, as do we know. And as I said, Solturk mostly plays Poseidon. And they're picking Savannah as their first map. Picking Savannah into... Ah, I guess it's okay if you go double Ranos and Zeus. Savannah is pretty open map, so we're gonna see a lot of raids going on here. Which might benefit the Rados players against the passive Raw player. But we will see. It's definitely gonna be an interesting game. Let's head into the game and enjoy their gameplay. So. Okay, here we go. Let's close this one up so we have a better view. And the middle at the bottom is Odysseus, is the Zeus. Middle spot is pretty nice for a Zeus player. Then at the left corner, bottom corner, we have Aranos, Sicario, Julian. And top left, we have the Raw player. Uh, yeah. No, never mind. Uh, Poseidon in the middle. And Loki on the right side. I think uh, Lyre is probably the best player, like the most experienced player in this uh, matchup. Although I remember Lu Yandula being pretty good as well. We will see. As you, as you can see, this is a pretty open map. Nice armor, uh, nice relic here. So it's really viable for raiding and stuff. And. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see a lot. This is a really good map for the Zeus, for Uranos, and for definitely as well for Loki. Considering there's quite a lot of hunt on this map as well. And pretty forward, like not defensible or something. So you can get food, but you can also raid it really easily. So if you can abuse this fact, you, you'll be in for a treat. Also, what I have uh, recognized on this map is that most of the hunts, especially at the start, is always forward. So if you go forward, you're almost always sure. So you're you're almost always certain to have hunt somewhere. And especially with the uh, if he's smart here, he can snipe this one at the at the granary. If he's good player, that's that's what a good player would do, in my opinion. But he doesn't really really see it, so. Okay, we have a nice back gold mine here for the raw player. And here as well actually, but that's pretty far for the raw player of course. And yeah, standard build ups, build orders here. So we know they're not completely noob. There's always a risk I guess with uh, well, non foopy this might be biased, but non foopy players. Uh, it's always like flip a coin, they might be super good, or maybe they're not that good. But it's fun to see them play anyway. So let's look at the relics real quick. We'll just farm faster, this is really good for like a uh, raw player. I would say. Uh, Feathers of Fenrir, this is... This is a good relic, but not uh, It's not gonna change the game. I like, this is a really good low-key relic, in my opinion. It makes your upgrades cheaper. Not much, but it does make them cheaper. So you can get Forest of the Eye, Eye of the Forest, sorry, and uh, Hall of Thames faster. I think if it is, it's not uh, Liar that scouted it, though, I think, so he won't go for it. He's going for a temple already, 255, yeah, that's a good time to start getting a temple as Loki. Uh, Poseidon player is not thinking about going at it just yet, he has 4 on wood, which is interesting. Uh, so yeah, he's, is he getting a temple yet? He's not getting a temple yet. He's using houses to block. That's that's uh, pretty standard. Uh, edgy plays nowadays, as I can see. I saw Joe do it a lot and people copy it. I guess that's fine. He's going for a temple right now. Two villagers on it, so he wants to age up fast. He should be aging after this villager. Yeah. And he's already clicked in, so standard for 30 ups here from the guys. Liar is gonna be up for 4.45, I think. Maybe a bit later, 4.50. Yeah, for 4.48, that's, that's a decent uptime. 
uh, some aggression here to prevent scouting is really good. But uh, he's gonna have to leave this one, I think. If if yeah, his name is really hard, it's Roman Cipher, so it's I'm not gonna try. Well, I can try, but it's not my forte. MC. 1100, actually MCM is 1900, 1980. Hey, here you go, boys. I think I, I think that's right. As you see, the map is completely scouted, and we have some nice back gold mines here for both sides. I would say more for we WOM than uh, Frost B, but yeah. They'll, I'm guessing they're gonna need it. Standard here. Racks. He's only making a counter racks right now. He's making it with his food villagers though, which is really interesting. He's gonna be low on six, right? Actually, it's fine if he has, yeah, he has villagers queued. He's gonna go for two counter racks though. Interesting. Let's see what happens. One Valar being cast already. Oh, on the... yeah, okay. That's nice, some aggression here, pu pushing him off hunt, on one side at least. Can't really c come to this unless he takes this tower down really fast, but I doubt that will happen. He's gonna go for some aggression on the wood right here, try to snipe a villager. But he will store and he might lose... yeah, he's not paying attention, he's just going all in here. Let's look at the side of Loki. Already some... yeah, he's trying to get some favor here by killing the animals and preventing him from gathering food as well. Does he see this? Yes, he does. He's making catapulties as well. I don't know why you would make catapulties against the Loki. Micro? Yeah, he is trying to micro this. And then he's sniping a house there, which is pretty good. And Lyra is not really as funny to it, so he's gonna lose 50 or 40. What? I don't know. Fuck. I should know this. House is 40, I think, yeah. Uh, bad micro here, though. He has to, uh. Yeah, he's getting out microed heavily here. So much damage. Oh, and another troll spawn here. Okay, nice. Took down the troll. Now you should try and... yeah, no, he's not gonna... Oh, and here we have, yeah, some nice uh, sand spawn. It's really strong against uh, Poseidon because he can't really uh, follow it up. He can pick this one up pretty easily. Yeah, he does. There we go. Second one is going down. Losing two Hippocons already. It's not the best. Oh, and we, we have nice raids here. Might snipe this fire off. Yeah, he's gonna snipe the fire off really nice. Uh, let's see. Lyra is doing pretty good though against uh, Teal. Does he actually see these foodies? I wonder. That's the real question. And he didn't get the other one, so he will get the more expensive apps. Is he actually going for the apps? I think he just clicked. It. Yeah, he just got all of these. Okay, sorry, I didn't, my sound just vanished. My bad. Might be having some issues, I hope not. Uh, trying to interrupt a bit, just not really finding anyone. Nice raids though from uh, this team. It's gonna catch another Hippocon right there, it's pretty bad. Nice fight here, not a fight you want to take, isn't Piranos though, it's way more easier here. Bad micro as well. Have to back here, definitely. Yeah, especially if you get a 
Falx, two Falx phones there. You're not gonna win that fight. More importantly here, this fight. How is Yellow's Echo doing? Seems to be pretty, pretty, pretty alright. How is Green's Echo? He should be going up soon. Yeah, he's gonna get there pretty fast, normally. He's getting his armory up, and Yellow sees this though. Oh, might be able. No, that miss from our lady Hippolyta is pretty bad. All right, he pushed him off this gold mine though. This is pretty good. So he's forced to mine these. Still some gold in it though. So he'll get he'll get up pretty soon, I think. This is really nice aggro though on red. Red is suffering. Oh. Damn. This is rough for Red right here. And Frost B is actually losing units for no particular reason right now. And um, Yellow is just spamming. Oh, might see a ceasefire here prematurely. I hope not, because you want to ceasefire the flaming weapons. Ah, that's not good. <laughs> Fuck. Don't want, you don't like to see this. Very good plays here by Lyre, keeping his team actually a bit in the go. But you will have a triple TC Zeus going against a double TC Red, who has a lot of aggro on him. Doing Dua suit clicking in Heroic right now. He's out of gold here, so if yellow is good, he's just gonna sit here and wait with all his therma. I hope he does that. If he does that, it's gonna be really tough for green to actually do do something, because he, right now he doesn't have the... Oh, he's going for the forward as well, that's really cocky actually. And yellow sees this, of course, and he's gonna sit on this one as well. So now green has to decide. I hope he goes for this. Well, I hope for yellow he goes for this. And it's actually, yeah, he's checking the large gold mines right now. And yeah, he'll catch this. This is a really smart play, gameplay here. So, but yeah, liar is gonna be a problem. I'm afraid. Get these guys, this is a really awkward spot here. Don't if you lose these, it's okay, that's pretty good. Nice aggression here from three sides. But yeah, Teal is slacking here. Lyra is playing really good, keeping his team in the game. Very strong plays. Might be able to snipe the Pharaoh here, maybe. So yeah, now Luindula has to rely on his market for a while to get uh, to get gold, so oh, nice raids here once again from uh, Liar. Ooh, and Yellow is losing it a bit, he lost a lot of Thermo on that. Basically lost all his Thermo on that. That's a real damn shame. Oh, he's gonna discover Liar taking this TC. So right now we have Wallon, uh, Teal, I'm gonna say Teal, it's easier. On 3 TC though, same goes for the Zeus player. And even Sicario, the yellow guy, is also going for 3TC. And you have Luyandula, who was delayed a lot. Doesn't have Shaft Mine yet, so... Definitely Red. Red is in all sorts of pain right now, I think. And he's spamming uh, Cavalry, which is a mistake, I think. You want to go for that 3TC straight away. Maybe he can avoid... Uh, it's gonna be a close one. Yeah, he's gonna get it, so... Okay, that's really good. And Liar is going for... Bragi. He's gonna disrupt this. This is a really good play as well. Might even find these foodies from... Uh, yeah, he find the foodies as well. Holy fuck, they're actually really good. Playing really well here. These centaurs will get a lot of kills as well. Oh, come on. Perp, you're running right into the red heroes. He probably doesn't know it though, it's a shame. Going in here, 
killing a lot of villagers as well. Oh, might pick off one. Maybe? No. no. Still only spamming uh, Terma though. This, I don't know about this. Why would you go for full Terma? I mean, oh, he's gonna pick off a villager or two here. Maybe. Come on, come on, you can take a few villagers here. Oh, and again, aggression here from Teal, really well. Really good, these plays, and he's... He's booming up, he's popped right now. I don't know if he built all his houses, I'm guessing he did. And now, yeah, this is devastating. Oh, these goldies are gonna get a hard time. Killing the priest first, of course. You have to micro them, though, man. Come on. Solid plays here, really solid. Disrupted this DC for so long as well. Making giving the Zeus player time to really boom out. And yeah, Louis and is in all kinds of troubles right now. Well, I wouldn't say really that much of trouble, but he doesn't have siege to actually contest this town center, for example, he just has some spears. He got really delayed. Nice here, keeping the red player busy as well, and meanwhile we see some regression here. Micro does send ours a bit, yes, nice. Might kill the hearse there, that's your main priority here. Very nice teamwork as well, I have to say. <laughs> Forcing Lee and Dilla to even start making towers, holy crap. These guys will make short work of all these annoying spearmen. <laughs> Holy crap, this is... You don't see this out. This is old school play, I would say. Just full on turn, go in the back line, kill the gold. Oh, here as well. Wow. Strong plays. I like this. As I said, I sp suspected, uh, expected Frost to be... Uh, the favorites in here and yeah, team W L O M proved me wrong, <laughs> which I like very much. This is okay. It kills farms, but it killed maybe one villager, maybe not even one villager. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can see this is oh. <laughs> How is Green doing on gold actually? He's actually having a lot of gold, never mind. I don't know how he got all the gold. But yeah, I expect uh, purple to get very big very fast right now, and I don't see our friend Solaturk going anywhere anytime soon. With this army, if he just goes and sits on that DC, this is he's gonna force a ceasefire, I'm pretty sure. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's gonna be up to Liar to carry this game, I'm afraid. This guy should be up as well pretty soon. Yeah, he's already up. Damn. Earth of the Titans. <sighs> it's gotta be real tough right now. Reliar has no uh, army apps. Nor does Teal actually. Yellow is actually pretty big, to be honest. Vindola finally on his 30c now. He's probably going up soon, considering he had a pretty decent eco going. I don't know why he's walling this side off, really. <laughs> that makes no sense. These guys are doing nothing. Where is Brave's army here, actually? I think he recognizes he's gonna need to help the Loki at the Lantian Hut for a bit. Where is he? 
I don't know what, what the fuck he's doing right now. Ho ho ho! There we go. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty decent army. You can do a lot of damage with it. Snipes the Pharaoh. Yeah, he's sniping the Pharaoh. He knows what he's doing. This is really nice. This will hurt uh, Solar Dark a lot, I think. And he's, yeah, as I said, perp should help. Uh, out teal. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. I like these plays a lot. Ah, Secret of the Titans. Who is going straight for Titans? I don't know, he has an advantage right now, I would say. Uh, over Liar. Liar clicked in hell, pretty sure, yeah. He dropped immediately, that was random. But yeah, I mean, Solo Turk is still... He's now going up Dionysus. It's 19 minutes, almost. That's very slow. Nice huge job, so choke points here from... Lindula. Uh, Forcing him to fight there is really bad for Yellow, actually. And he needs Siege. He needs Destroyers, he didn't make... Oh, if I just end Heck again. If he just drops another, yeah, this is rough. This is really rough. <laughs> it's gonna be up to the Zeus player now, though, to hard carry. But I think he can. He had a lot of time to boom here. This is actually not well played here from Yellow. He basically lost his entire army, but he's going for fire siphons. Nice. Yeah, and Lyra is in all kinds of pain right now, honestly. I mean, he got outpaced because of all that aggression, and because actually Solo Turk fell behind pretty fast. Let's see what, he, what Lyra can do though. I think Lyra knows that this side is probably where they can win, potentially. Uh, is he going up? He's still not going up, and he has some idle units here as well. That's a, that's a shame. Nidog, will it do anything though? I mean, you have Odysseus, Manticores, going for. You need a tree here though. Because if you earthquake that shit, it's gonna be rough. I think uh, Leandola is full popped right now. <laughs> yeah, let's see what they can do. Nice aggression though, constant pressure here from Teal, also raiding here, which is what you want. I would like to see one tree here though from Yellow. Oh, this is you eat. I don't know where. Oh! Oh no, that's actually Tartar Gate. I don't know about the placements. Oh, we. Annual Passage here. That's a pretty good choice, I would say. Going back. Recognizing that it's gonna be doubled here. Alright, now Teal should actually. Ah, oh, he can't. Okay, this is really good from Frost here. They'll win this fight, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where Burp's army is right now. It's a bad waypoint here. That's unfortunate. He's holding his ground though, to be honest. If he can snap those battle bars, he could do some shit here. Oh. Nice raids here still. This will delay Luyendilla. He's going up Osiris though. Nice push here though. Pushing him off to his forwards with the help from Perp. But the question is will Perp be able to uh, push this back? The Nidog is going down, that's for sure. And right now, this is all Lyra had. Uh, he doesn't have much going for him right now, he has to rebuild and go for side builds, I guess, but the thing is the Titan is also coming up and you don't have Tornado from the Ra here, so you're depending on your Poseidon to potentially EQ, but I don't think he has to echo for it, so Titan is definitely coming up. Midok almost down. <laughs> okay. He's going for Colossi, I think, soon. Yeah. Let's look. Uh, flood control. Yellow is really doing damage uh, against Luyan here. Gonna need that son of Osiris, but maybe he is 
I don't think he has a Pharaoh up actually. I think he got sniped down and he's gonna lose this back to C. Really nice plays here from these actually unknown players. I am surprised. And yeah, the upgrades are coming in right now. Son of Osiris being cast, yeah. Oh, but he's in a really bad position there. Really open to... Yeah, he's gonna get snapped down here. Wow. Uh, this rogue fire siphon is gonna kill a farm here. Yeah. He's thirsty for farm. And let's see, the deal is getting quite big and problematic for uh, Loki as well. When you have heavy fanatics probably going up for stronger fanatics soon. Nah, he's going for coinets and ambassadors. Where is his uh, caravan actually? Is he making? Yeah, he's making. Great. So yeah, let's see what uh, Frost B can do to turn the tide here. I'm a uh, Skeptical about this right now, but it's possible. How is where is the uh... oh? I think the son of Cyrus is already dead. I missed that, or maybe it's in the dark. No, it's dead. Okay. Oh no, it's actually here. Okay, 91 health on that, and the Titan is going full in the base of uh, Liar right now, who is gonna be in a lot of pain. <laughs> and you see, yeah, this. <laughs> Slowly but slightly, this is getting more and more problematic for Frost because these guys will wreck through everything. Even a fully boomed Poseidon can't really deal with it, and it's not even going up, so. We'll see what happens, but this side is losing, and this side is losing, so I am. As I said, I'm not sure if they can turn the tide here. Maybe with the Son of Cyrus and some nice micro he can stop this, but then there's still the problem of this side. And the fact that Slyre has nothing, almost. Yeah, and these Tartarian spawns are still causing trouble here. Alright, I think it's time to call it GG boys. They played really well, you have to admit this. Where is Prep's army though? He's just running him straight into... I think you can find a weakness here, I mean, Burp's late game isn't that impressive from what I've seen from now. If you know your Poseidon is going full Hippocon, heavy Hippocons, just go for Hoplites and you can kill every last one of them pretty easily. Look at the heroes trying to kill the Titan. Not upgraded, not upgraded, but still. And in the meantime, he's just pushing through, trying to stop this, but it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. And it's actually yellow that's doing the most damage here. I would have expected the perp to be way bigger than this, seeing as he had a free boom. Well, sort of reboot, but and yeah, he's a fastest now, but that is way, way, way too late. Does he actually have? Doesn't even have enough favor, I think, for Forge of Olympus. Then this is brutal. And this is brutal as well. Uh, Teal's army is like everywhere right now. Oh, he's actually retaking this TC. And I don't think Teal recognizes it. It's, it's fast enough. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> as I say that, it's just, it's over. Very well played. Uh, I think, yeah, they just. Their aggression paid off, and I think maybe with uh, Ra being the team and Poseidon struggling against the Zeus, they just got outpaced there. Lyre did a good job, but he was basically the only one doing any damage to the enemy base, so... 
Yes, well, we'll see in the next round, when, in the next game, who will take the fight. I expect uh, Frost B to have some special kind of strategy to slay this beast that is WLOM. Yeah, all in all, not bad of a game, not bad. Probably. Yeah, right past the most. That's pretty, pretty normal. So yeah.